Well guys, that's it. My vacation to the Nordic countries and Estonia has come to an end. I'm currently in Stockholm. I have an overnight layover here before flying back home to Chicago tomorrow morning. I would have gotten a direct flight back from Helsinki while it was possible through Finnair. The problem was at the time of booking when I made the tickets or when I made the reservation like back in like February, March, whatever, whatever it was, I couldn't get that on the same ticket. It would have costed me an extra like 1300 bucks. Yeah, that wasn't happening. So that's why I'm here. So I figured now that I'm in kind of a more stable place, I can reflect on these last two weeks. Now, the food, I mean, I guess it wasn't as expensive as I thought it would be. Well, maybe, I mean, fish and chips, I know that costed me about, I think it was the equivalent of like, fuck, I actually forget actually the, the exact prices of these things, but it was, um, it was nice. I mean, it, it, I, I didn't, I didn't think it was too bad. Like the prices, although to be fair, I, there were, were quite a few days where I've only eaten like twice. So it's not like I was eating like, you know, three square meals, I'll be honest. So kind of had that trick up my sleeve and I'll recommend it, but I mean, you can probably make it happen, I'm sure. But, um, you know, met some interesting people at the two hostels I stayed at. I didn't really communicate much with, um, you know, the, the Danes and the Finns, but that, that's okay. That, that really is. I wasn't, I wasn't really looking to do that anyway, but, um, because the thing about this part of the world, the Nordic countries and, um, is you have to really know what you're doing when you come, when it comes to like opening yourself up to strangers. I mean, yeah, I guess you can ask people like certain things, but it really makes you stick out like a sore thumb. And I just, I'm not really about that. I mean, I don't know. And then another thing too is, um, I, I think I really, I really should do more research about like some of these places I go to. Cause I'll admit, you know, I, I think I did, you know, kind of mess up there, but you know, in, in, in the future trips I'll be doing, I'll, I'll try to, you know, get a little more insight about, you know, historical context of these cities. I think I, I think I pretty much nailed it with Estonia though, but, um, or Tallinn to be exact. Um, but yeah, this was my first European trip, like all by myself. So proud of myself, pat on the back. And, um, now if you're thinking about going to these places, you know, even if it's like Copenhagen, Helsinki, or even like here in Stockholm, um, I'm not visiting here. I'm just here in the hotel and then I'm, I'm not really leaving the room until tomorrow morning when I fly back out. So, um, but I do want to properly visit this city someday, but there's just more countries on the list. I have yet to cross off the list. So, but if you want to come here and you're worried about, oh, I don't have the money. It's, it's so expensive. I will link a channel in the description called London Hacks. I think he's officially known as the hack. He's based in Britain and his whole channel is basically like how to survive on you know, whatever it is, like 10 euros in Berlin or one euro in Berlin or, you know, certain amounts of money. And, you know, you can do this. It's possible to, you know, have a certain like budget and then still like, you know, have decent meals and, you know, do some cool stuff. It's possible. So, you know, if that's a concern of yours, I highly recommend you watch his content. It is amazing. Again, it's called London Hacks, or I think it's called The Hack, but either way, find it in the description if um, you're interested in, you know, visiting places on a budget, because nothing in this world is impossible. Nothing in this world is impossible with with that kind of stuff. I mean, yeah, certain things are, but anyway, that's beside the point. Um, and I guess the main thing here is how smooth everything went. I didn't have any flight delays. I didn't have any cancellations. The only hiccup I had was when I tried to go to that one town in Sweden, but they were doing like track construction and, you know, trains weren't even operating till like going to that city. I think until like, I want to say this week. So yeah, I, um, but again, that's a part of traveling. Sometimes you got to take the L and move on. 
and you know you just kind of have to live with it but that was the only really like hiccup I had well no I take that back another one I had was I, I didn't reveal this yet but on my way to um to my hostel in, in uh, Copenhagen you know I got off the train well first of all when I, I'm like where the hell do you find the tickets I think I I think I said that in the arrival video but I had a I, w I was like oh there you oh you find him there and so I get off the train into the central station I'm walking around and I'm like the maps on my phone don't work oh no <laughs> so I had to actually walk around ask people and to add insult to injury it started pouring down rain and I'm just like oh come on you're not doing this to me right now but eventually after close to an hour or might might have been over an hour it was a long time it seemed I finally was able to find it and life was good so <laughs> I mean that's another thing too largely the weather cooperated it didn't rain as much as I thought it would I thought it was gonna rain like every other day but no I mean it was the weather was pretty okay I'd say you know it really wasn't that bad there were some days where it was like I think it was when I went to I, th I think it was uh, top day, top of day. Like the morning I went there, oh my god, it was pouring, and I'm like, oh come on. <laughs> but no, I mean uh, things largely worked out, I'd say. And SAS Scandinavian, it's a good airline. I recommend it. Um, I didn't have a single problem with them. Again, I've had that one bad experience on the plane that I mentioned in the last video, and or not the last video, the arrival video. So. I didn't have any problems like that with SAS, so, you know, they get a thumbs up from me. It's actually a very good airline. They have a very good reputation, very good hard product, and just excellent crew. And the last flight I, I was on had a bit of turbulence, but that's only because it was, like, raining and stuff like that. So, you know, you can't really do anything about that. It wasn't as bad as when I flew out of Fort Myers earlier this year. You know, that, that was pretty bad. I thought I was going to die. But it was moderate turbulence, but it was the worst I've ever experienced. And, um, I mean, what else is there to say? Because, again, I don't want to say stuff and then think of things like, like, oh, I should have said that. I should have said that. But I must say, overall, this was actually a very good two weeks. And um, I wish I could do more of these travel things, but, again, like, paid time off and vacation time in the United States is very limited. There's no national mandate as to like, you need like, you know, this much for every worker, you know, that it's not like here where you have that, you know, with, um, with you, cause obviously unions negotiate wages and all that kind of stuff here. It's not even the state that does it, but where I'm from, there's no man, you know, workers can like be toyed around with a lot by like the higher ups and the CEOs and all that kind of stuff. And, but I, I, I get a decent amount of PTO, I think by American standards. Well, actually I think it's more a step above decent, but because obviously I, I do these kinds of trips and then I also like have to save like other days off I have to visit family and stuff like that. Of course, family's family, right? So yeah, it was an overall good trip and the jet lag only lasted like a couple of days and then I was good. It, it was like maybe two, three days tops and then I, I was like adjusted to the time zone I was in. So, you know, it's different for everyone, but you know, that's just how it was with me. So I guess with all that being said, now, spoiler alert, I'm going to reveal where I'm going next year drum roll I'm doing it on like a glass table here or no here du -du 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 -du. Belgium and the Netherlands maybe Luxembourg I don't know about um, doing a day trip there maybe it's possible I don't know but definitely Belgium and the Netherlands I was gonna do that this this year actually that was the original plan but I actually did meet up with um with a viewer of mine with uh, someone who watches my videos who lives in um who lives in Denmark. Um, I know you're watching this. What's up? I'm not, I'm not going to dox him or say his name, but yeah, we, uh, we met up and, you know, ha had a, had a good time and stuff like that. And, um, 
But yeah, that's where I'll be next year, Belgium and the Netherlands. Now, that might change because my dad has been somewhat flirting with the idea of going to, like, Rome and Athens. So that that's certainly in the realm of possibilities. But as it stands now, that's going to be the plan next year. So I'll be going to, like, Amsterdam, Brussels, excuse me, Amsterdam, Brussels. Um, and I want to try to do Ghent, Antwerp, and, um, and Bruges, and then in the Netherlands, um, Leiden. Utrecht and The Hague. So I think those will be some interesting cities. But obviously the capitals will be like, you know, where I'm based and I'll do day trips to the other aforementioned cities. But yeah, I think that'll be it for just the concluding half of my video. So, or of the series Nordic Trip Plus. And I got a few videos up here, a few videos, I, a few video ideas up here in the old cranium. So uh, stay tuned for those. Don't don't know when I'm gonna upload them, but um, they're coming. I promise. And with that being said, signing off. Okay. Disregard the signing off. One one more thing I forgot to mention. One more question I had because I answered the weather, the expense, the the expensiveness of it, like the food and stuff like that. But one more thing is, you know, what makes like the people happy and stuff. Now I think I said this in one of the Denmark videos, but. I kind of already knew the answer to that. I, I guess I was just doing that for dramatic purposes. But what it is, is just the fact that wages are just higher in this part of the world, even here in Sweden. And people tend to have more job security and more paid time off, vacation. There's no limit to sick time. Obviously, the, the catch is if you are sick, if you're out sick for like a month or like a certain threshold you need to provide a doctor's note saying oh yeah i have like you know like a serious like terminal something cancer or whatever it is or just like or covid obviously given the recent couple of years we've had with that um but yeah it's just like a, a strong social safety net and obviously healthcare is free and um you know it's but oh but the taxes are high well you know what you know what i think i'd rather be paying high taxes if it goes towards, you know, helping us, the people, not the fucking military, not like, you know, because they don't need, they don't need any more funding. Come on now. Not, not like it, my, the military in the U.S. is so freaking bloated with their budget. They really don't need more of it. But yeah, that's what it is. It's not the weather because that obviously can throw quite a loop. But what were the other questions I had? Oh, bathrooms. Um, I think I only encountered it once in a uh, Copenhagen central station where you had to use the, where you had to like pay to use the bathroom. But other than that, like airports and stuff, I mean, you don't have to stick in a Euro or two euros or whatever it was. Um, Kroner. Um, I, I don't think he had to do that, but you, so yeah, I, I, I don't think it wasn't as common as I thought it would be. So that's a good thing. Um, despite that, you know, issue I had in Turku, but we're good now. And I think that's all the questions I had. But yeah, like I said, it was overall a great trip. And you know, you already know where I'm going next. So you have that information. Okay, so now that I did that, now I'm signing off.